tutorial by webdevelopmenttutorials.com and it's going to cover how to create uh, tables with a uh, XHTML. Okay, now first, this is uh, an example of a table. Now you notice it has row one with two cells and row two with two cells also. Now to create a table, we use the opening and closing table tags. Again, this simply creates the table. Now to create the first row, we use the TR tags, which are going to be nested within the uh, opening and closing table tags. Now the TR tag also has an opening and closing tag. And within the TR tags, we have the TD tags, which also have an, uh, an opening and a closing tag. OK, I'm going to save this table. Okay, so, this, so this is going to be a table that's created with one row and one cell with the text row 1, cell 1. The table that that creates is this right here. Now, notice that, first of all, that, that it does not have a border to it like the last table and I'm going to add a border to it right now. Now you add a border to a, ta to a table using the border attribute. Now notice that the table now has a border. Now when you apply styles to a table, for example adding a border to the table, I recommend that you use CSS. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and add the border attribute to the table tag itself. Okay, so now what I'm going to do now is create a table with two rows, and each row is going to have two cells. So I have my first, col first row with one cell, so I'm simply going to add another cell to this row and below this row I'm going to add another row and within that row I'm going to add another two cells so this should be a table with two rows each row having one cell each notice row one cell one row one cell two row 2 cell 1 and row 2 cell 2. Now a lot of times what you run into when, when you have tables is that you have empty cells. And I'll show you an example right now. So the top row is going to have 3 cells and the bottom row is going to have nothing in this or it's not going to have a third cell so notice the table that this creates okay so notice on the top it has three cells and the bottom row has only the two cells that are created and in the third or where the third cell, cell should be it is just left blank now if you don't want to leave a blank you want to cell there Error, you don't want to put anything in it actually. One way to handle blank cells is to add a non breaking uh, space in the cell itself. The code for a non breaking space is ampersand followed by n as in new, b as in boy, s as in space, p as in plastic, and ending with the semicolon. Now notice that it creates an empty cell with nothing in it. Another thing you might want to add to tables are headings.
Now to add a heading to a table, use the th tags. Again, the th tags are going to have the opening th tag and the closing th tag. So this should ha so this should add three headings to the table: heading one, heading two, and heading three. And there goes heading one, heading two, and heading three. Now you can also add a caption to a table. And the code to add a caption to a table is simply the caption tags, the opening caption tag and the closing caption tag. And I'm going to add a little bit of text to the caption tag and notice caption that is added is this is my table and the text for the caption is this is my table this has been a tutorial by web development tutorials .com. Uh, for more tutorials like this please go to my, my website web development tutorials .com.